Um, there's another zinnia there, and there's some gladiolus that have bloomed earlier in the early part of the summer. And I apologize for the shadowing here. Um, there's more ageratum here. This was a very weedy area here, so I planted a lot of ageratum and some alyssum here a few months ago. And it really, these, the ageratum blooms and blooms for about three months, and so does the alyssum. And then here's some more Jupiter's beard. I'll try to hover over here to see if um, we can get some butterfly shots. There's three monarch butterflies all around here, um, kind of going up in the tree and coming down over here. So I've been enjoying this part of the garden um, quite a lot. I just was surprised how well the Jupiter's beard has done this year. I've had this growing for about three years. I grew from seed and um, there's, it doesn't have a scent, but it really grows very well. Um, it does get a little bit of, um, in the early spring, there's a bug called the four-lined plant bug that bothers this plant as well as my um, lavender and the um, blanket flower. But um, it recovered. There's a couple monarchs right there. I'll just walk around this way. And the Jupiter's beard has spread quite a bit, so I'm just sort of letting it, letting it spread. I may be moving some of this next year, next spring. There's another little um, evergreen um, seedling. And so as you can see, it's a little messy with the leaves, but um, it's just hard to keep up in the fall with all the, the leaves from the trees that are just dropping their leaves. It will get cold pretty soon. It's, it's been a really warm uh, few weeks here after a cool um, August, so I've been loving the warm weather that we've had this fall. And I'll just zoom in on one more monarch there. The monarchs fly to Mexico, so they're on their way to Mexico. So if anybody's interested in seeing monarchs in their garden, I would highly recommend the zinnia as well as the purple coneflower. They seem to love those as well. And they have been all over the Jupiter's beard this summer too. So I'm excited that they like the Jupiter's beard. So I'll just come back around this way and show you um, a few more zinnias there and just show you what the garden looks like from this angle. I moved a few things around um, a few weeks ago, and in the spring I always move a few more things around. There's a big bumblebee right there. Might be a queen bee. We have a lot of bumblebees uh, in the spring that seem to really like the catmint plant, so I, I um, do like that the bumblebees seem to flock to the garden. And there's another zinnia. I have a couple other smaller garden areas that really don't have anything in bloom other than some ageratum and some uh, perennial verbena, which I showed in other videos. So I just wanted to show you guys an updated video as to what was going on right now. It's uh, early October and just wanted to show you what the garden looks like and i'm glad you got to see some monarch butterflies and i will be doing more videos through the winter i'll be you know ordering seeds and planting them in the basement probably in february and march and between now and then i'll just do some more garden videos and i'll talk about gardening and show you my garden magazines and we'll just talk gardening for the next couple months until I start ordering seeds. I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who's watching these videos. I'm so surprised that I have viewers from all across the United States and through through the world and I'm just honored that everybody's interested in my little garden here and I hope I've helped someone along the way and 
I just really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. Thank you so much.